Hello, my YouTube friends. A lot of people wondered how I brought Monica into my last live stream. And you can use this same process to bring in more guests if you want. Today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add guests to your live stream in OBS. You're gonna love this. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Now there are a few apps to do this on and one I'm gonna show you allows you to add one guest for free and up to six for 15 bucks a month. I'll get into why this is the one I recommend a bit later, but Let's get into how this is done. The links to everything are in the description so you can try this out for yourself. There are two pieces to this install, so just keep that in mind. We're going to start out on the New Tech NDI page. All you have to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, and we are going to click on the NDI tools for Windows. There is also an NDI tools for Mac. The process is basically the same if you know how to install things on your Mac. We're gonna click download, fill out the form, click I am not a robot, and submit. Then it sends an email to your inbox and there's a link in that email so that you can download the actual install. Next, we're gonna jump over here into this page and we're going to download the OBS integration and we're gonna click go to download. We're gonna scroll down here and there is a Mac and Windows version. So download the appropriate one for your machine. We're gonna click on the Windows one, save the file. Now we have everything we need. So we're gonna go ahead and run our NDI tools first and it's just clicking accept and nexting through all of the stuff. It's pretty easy to install these. You just click next and finish. And it launches this NDI launcher. You can just close out of that. We have one more to do. We're going to click on the OBS NDI 4.9 and we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Make sure both of these boxes are selected and click next and then install. And then it'll run through the install for both of these little packages. And once it's finished, you just click finish and we're all set except for make sure that you reboot your machine before we jump into the next step. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of video and graphic assets for your videos and your live streams. Now I created all my live streaming video assets using Envato Placeit. My countdown timer, my branding bumper, the guest wait screen, ending and start screens were all created with Envato Placeit. And they all use my logo, which was created in Placeit too. Placeit has hundreds of awesome video templates to choose from. And then you can modify them by choosing different colors, texts, and text fonts, adding segments, music, and even changing the speed of each segment to create your own epic scenes. This gives you an infinite number of video possibilities for your streams and videos. So please click that link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to keep me making content that helps you. So thanks. Now that our NDI install is complete, let's go over into OBS and let's click that plus and we're going to go to display capture and we'll just call this one guest and click okay. And you can see I already have melon opened here. So I'm gonna click okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch this so it fits the screen for now. And I'm gonna hold down the alt key and I'm gonna crop out everything but the preview window. There we go. Now I'll just drag this up to the top and embiggen it so it fills the screen and we're all set. We can now add our guests. So here we are in melon. I'm gonna click the up arrow next to the microphone at the bottom and I'm gonna go to our audio input microphone and I'm gonna drop that down and I'm gonna select new tech NDI audio. Now I'm gonna flip back into OBS and I'm gonna put on a scene that has some audio so I can demonstrate this. I'm gonna drop down tools and go to NDI output settings. I'm going to turn on my main output and make sure it has a name so I know what it is. 
Then I'm gonna click my start bar and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start the webcam input from NDI. Now this will be under NDI if you don't have it in your recent usage. Then we're gonna go down here to the system tray and click the up arrow and we're gonna right click on NDI and we're gonna make sure that our OBS output is selected. So now we're gonna jump back into Melon. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click the up arrow next to the microphone again and we're gonna make sure that our new tech is selected and it's not playing so we're just gonna mute and then unmute and now you can see that we're getting audio from our OBS input this is perfect now we're ready to go ahead and add our guests in melon you're gonna go up to the top left and you're gonna click invite guests and you're gonna copy that link and just send it to whomever is going to appear on your live stream and you'll notice on the left hand side folks will start to appear as they come in you can just click show on stream to add them to the stream down in the bottom left hand corner you can move them around you can turn off and on all the text overlays you see on the bottom if you like because obviously those will show up on the stream and if you don't want them there you just turn them off so now you can see there are all kinds of different layouts and stuff that you can select you can drag and move people around you can hide and show people and generally speaking this means that you can have this set up in a couple of different ways. Now, you noticed when I set it up, my camera was black. And that's because I use my main camera and I set it up a little bit differently to add my guests. But you certainly can use a second camera, like a webcam or something, so that you can add yourself into the Melon screen. And that's what you'll see. Here is an example of what my live stream looks like. You can see that Monica is down in the bottom left. I use a green screen on her, so we have her all moved out. And then up in the top right hand corner is my window. And that window is directly in OBS. I'm not using my camera in Melon at all. So I have my camera in her scene in Melon, but I have her maximized, so she's the only one on screen. And if you set up the audio so that it's taking NDI, she can hear everything else that goes on on the broadcast as well. Now you don't have to have NDI audio in there if you only want your guests to hear your audio. You can just add your microphone. But a lot of people say that they're using games or they're having footage of videos in the background and their guests aren't hearing it so they can't make comments. And the easy way to fix that problem is just to use the NDI output from OBS into Melon or whatever application you're using. That way they hear everything that happens on the stream. The only real choice that you have to make is whether you're going to have a second camera that you're going to use in Melon and just show it full screen or whether you want to do it like I'm doing it where I don't use my camera at all in Melon I just add it and I kind of move the Melon screen grab around wherever I want it on the screen and this might depend on how many people you have but it certainly does give you a heck of a lot of really good high quality options for adding guests and it's just so easy here at the end let me show you how I have it so you can see my my camera's black but I'm added to the scene and so if I unmaximize Monica you can see that my camera shows up I just hide my camera by maximizing her camera but if we select some of the different layouts there you go you can definitely see that my camera does exist and it is there I don't want to have a second webcam, I just want to use my main camera. So that's how I work it. You can choose to do this in a lot of different ways and having so many options is probably the best thing about using this method to add guests. And you never have to worry that the screen is going to get disorganized or when a guest disconnects all of your captures are going to be messed up because you're only capturing the preview screen and if a guest disconnects the preview screen will automatically reorganize and you're all set. And by by the way, each one of your guests can have their names in there. I don't have the name displayed on Monica's capture, but if I wanted to, I could turn it on and have her name displayed. Does it really get any easier than this? I don't think so. So why do I recommend Melon for this? First, you're gonna pay a monthly fee for any of these apps if you wanna remove the watermark. And if you wanna live stream professionally, you don't want a branded watermark. It just is what it is. And that makes Melon by far the least expensive choice for up to six guests with no watermark. The best free option for up to six guests is Restream. But to remove the watermark in Restream, you have to pay 50 bucks a month. But if you wanted to add up to six guests without a watermark in Melon, 
It's like 15 bucks. The link to both of these in the description. So the choice is yours. If you wanna learn how to add alerts to your live stream, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.